In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to save the most amount of weight for the best amount of money. And it has to do with this little guy right here. But it's definitely a weight weenie video, so we're going to need the gram scale. So let's go ahead and break that thing out right now. The hell? No, I'm just kidding, guys. It's just creatine. It's just a video, all right? It's always just a running joke. But this is what I'm trying to show you guys. Vittoria's TPU Ultralight Speed Inner Tube. Uh, this air tube, I believe, is a must-have upgrade if you're looking to cut weight off of your bike, if you're not already running an alternative like a tubeless as out there. But majority of you guys, whenever you guys buy these road bikes, they come stock with a normal rubber inner tube like this. Uh, now, whatever your preference is, whether you want to run tubeless, whether you want to keep these in there, there are alternatives out there to make your bike lighter. And in today's world, everyone's trying to get as much weight as possible off their bike for the little amount of money as they can. So... A great alternative to this is to ditch your regular stock inner tubes and go to something like this. Uh, also, alternatives is to remove stock tires. I can do another video on that down the road. But this is definitely one of the things I noticed the most to take away from the to upgrade for the, the save the most amount of weight you can for the least amount of money, and which I'll show you guys in a second. But I used to run the Pirelli version of these uh, on my old wheels, the Elite Drive Hypers. They were 50 millimeter depth wheels, so they came in a 60 millimeter depth. Uh, valve length. The best thing I've seen about these tubes, not only are they super light, which we'll get to in a second, but these are the first TPU tubes I've seen that actually have a removable valve core to add a valve extender on here. Now I haven't put a valve extender on here as well because I have to figure out whether or not it's going to be light enough to do so because that will kind of defeat the purpose if that valve extender is super heavy, but I couldn't run them on my new Windspace Hyper D67s because of the depth in the back. So these are the first TPU tubes I've seen with a removal valve core. The Pirellis don't have it, and also the pink ones I've seen uh, that Windspace sells or on AliExpress, uh, they don't, you can't remove those either. Those are glued in. These ones are. So that was one of the first issues I ran into with the Pirelli tubes. Um, also, these claim to be one of the lightest out of the box for the weight on here. These things claim to be uh, 30 grams, I believe. Let me see where that says that. Uh, yeah, I'm a damn idiot. 30 grams of lightness which is insane considering that these tubes sometimes come in around 100 grams. So what I have here, I have a normal rubber inner tube. It doesn't matter which brand they are with a 60 millimeter valve length on here. And I have a normal uh, Vittoria TPU ultralight tube right here with a 60 millimeter valve length stem as well. I have my gram scale here to show you guys the difference of weight. And then I'll show you guys kind of uh, what the alternatives or the total weight savings for these things are because they're pretty crazy. So... Right off the bat, let's put our six. Let's put our regular tube on there. Actually, I don't want to put it like that. Hmm. Ninety-seven grams. Okay, so ninety-seven plus two. We'll just call it a cool hundred, but ninety-seven plus two. Now we're gonna put our Pirelli. I'm sorry, our Vittori on there. Twenty-nine grams. 29 grams for a pair of two of them. Give me one second. All right, so if you remove both of your stock inner tubes that come on your bike and you go to a TPU tube, yes, it's going to be more money, but you're going to save a total of 139 grams right off the bat. I know people will pay hundreds of dollars to save that kind of weight savings. Per example, me included. Per example, me included, which I was pretty dumb, but I, I like the aesthetics of it. This Doremo seat post right here, that literally is the exact same serves purpose as normal stock seat post. This seat post right here is saving 90 grams, but the seat post costs $500, which is absolutely insane when you think about these tubes compared to the weight savings on here, compared to here, $500 to save 90 grams when I bought two of these tubes that retail for $35 a piece, so it's $70, and I'm saving 140 grams, which is absolutely insane. Not only do they give you a lighter weight wheel, but they also give you benefits in terms of saving watts, and also, now their claim to fame is that they're going to say that they are puncture resistant. More puncture resistant than a regular tube, which I'll get to in a second. I don't know how much I believe in that. There's some marketing here. But we'll go over that in just a second. But there are tons of things that you can do to save weight. I know people as well who buy bottle cages, per example. Give me one second. A normal stock plastic bottle cage weighs 34 grams for $25. A carbon fiber bottle cage weighs 24 grams for $70. So you're saving 10 grams for an upgraded $45. <laughs> so again, 
10 grams compared to 140 grams. If you're looking to save the most amount of weight on all your bikes, this is one of the best ways to do it. You get a nice set of tubes, a nice set of tires, and also some brake rotors as well. You can knock a good amount of weight off your disc brake bike right off the bat. But let me talk about these savings that this bike will give you. All right, so not only are we getting the massive weight savings of 139 grams, but they're also going to have a couple claim the fame on this tube as well. One, they say this thing is much tinier because it's a thinner material, so it's easier to store while riding compared to something bulky like this. This is kind of hard to get into a saddlebag. You can fit about two of these inside of here as well. Downfall to this is yes, it is expensive. This is $35 for one tube. This is $8 for one tube. You can get away with buying probably four of these for $32 and have four of these as backups compared to this one. But if you're looking for every kind of performance, um, even this being a little bit lighter, you're gonna have less rolling resistance there too. You might get a better riding experience out of here. Like I said, I'm about 200 pounds, about 90 kilos. Um, I run these tubes with my turbo cotton tires and I was running them at 100 PSI for 2,000 uh, kilometers, and I didn't have any issues with flats. Now, everyone can have their own story in terms of flats of what that happens with it. Everyone can have their own uh, preference with flats. You might get three flats in one day, or you might get um, one flat in three years. It all comes down to preference. I had a great experience with riding these tubes with a very lightweight tire. So uh, I really do prefer this. And then not only that, <laughs> Vittori also says that because this material is softer and a little bit more silkier, uh, that it's going to do a better job at resisting the punctures. Now hear me out. This is what they say. This is a very sticky and very thick material, so it takes up a lot of space inside of that tire. So when something goes through the tire and punctures into this tube, this grabs, because it expands like that, it grabs whatever it's puncturing in, like a wire, like a thorn, whatever it is. Because it's so much thinner, Yes, it's gonna still take up much space, but they say that because this goes right against the tire like that, that it doesn't grab as much. This is very slick. This is like a, a very non-tacky, non-sticky texture. So they say, <laughs> they say that when something goes through the tire, that you're not gonna get a flat as much because of the fact that it's not gonna grab this tube. It might go in between it, or maybe you might just run over it and not have any issues with it. Myself, per firsthand, again, with a TPU tube, I rode with two guys. I rode a five-man pace line. Two guys had tubeless tires. I was running my cottons with a TPU tube. They both ran over the same thing I ran over. They both had tubeless fluid spewing everywhere. I was running 110 PSI with a TPU tube. I didn't have that. And I'm pretty, I was heavier than them as well. So again, that's my experience, not theirs. But a normal tube would, uh, is, um, a normal tube will give you uh, a, a penalty of 14 watts compared to a standard TPU tube, which will give you a penalty of 12 watts for rolling resistance. And now you guys might say, well, what about a latex tube? Vittoria's own website will say who sells latex tubes that uh, uh, their, their latex tube is 12.1 watts. So they're actually saying that this TPU tube is a faster tube than their latex tube. I don't know if that's snake oil. I don't know if that's just because they want to push more, um, push more weight to it here. But this is also lighter. This is 30 grams, whereas a latex tube by Vittoria is 80 grams. So not only are you getting a lighter tube, you're also getting a better performing tube as well compared to a latex and their standard rubber tube as well. And inside their packaging, they do give you one patch kit as well, obviously to go ahead and patch this thing up just in case you do run into any issues. It is a very expensive tube, so unless you're made of money, you might want to try and patch it right away to uh, save some money, or if you don't really care, then that's your prerogative. But again, the biggest thing to me that I think was a, a huge success was this being a removable valve core which Pirelli is glued in there, and also those pink tubes that are also the TPU tubes, those are glued in there as well. This is my first one that I've ever seen that I can get a 60 millimeter, and I can run a valve extender on here, which is nice. Downside to these Vittorias is that they are a disc brake only tube, whereas the Pirellis are a rim brake and disc brake. They say that for the reason of that is that because uh, when the rim brake cramps the rim for too long, over a period of time, they do heat up much more than a disc brake would, so they don't want to run the risk of that tube heating up and puncturing. But yes, so now I'll be able to run my TPU tubes because I'm running standard tubes in here inside of my bike. So I will have a video coming up where I'm gonna be running the lightest rotors, the lightest tubes, and also some lightest cages to see how much, what's the total weight that I can get off this bike. But uh, I'm very excited for it. This, this was one of the best riding experiences I had in a while, switching to these. And like I said, for the 80, for the 70 bucks, it was worth a try. I'm always trying to figure out what's the way to line up my bike. 
70 bucks I can dump into it. I can be happy. I can save 140 grams, which is nice. And if I get a flat, then I know it's not for me. But I had a great experience, over 2,000 kilometers on there. Very nice stuff there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully you stay tuned to see how much weight I can drop off this bike to switching to a TPU tube. And let me know down in the comments section if there's anything else you guys would want to see me upgrade off my bike as well. I have a couple things in mind. Some are going to be more expensive than the others. I might make a video to where I do the cheapest way to drop the most weight and then I might do a video where I do the most expensive way to drop the most weight off a bike. And we'll see what we can do. I'm not getting rid of my OSPW, right? That's off the table. Off limits. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. But seriously, check out the TPU tubes. They are something that's really cool. I really enjoy them. If you're a tubeless guy, then go fly a kite. Get out of my face. But if you're really looking for something that's going to give you a lightweight edge and also a competitive edge for less rolling resistance, these are a great, great option. And uh, I think you're going to see more and more people running these nowadays. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.